past week has seen the royal family sharing sweet memories of the late Prince Philip, who passed away last week at the age of 99. Among the tributes have been some rare candid shots of the royals in their everyday lives, like the adorable photo of the Duke and Prince George in a carriage that Prince William shared along with a statement about his late grandfather. On the eve of Prince Philip's funeral, the Queen and Philip's grandson-in-law, Mike Tyndall, joined in with a sweet Instagram post in tribute to the late Prince. Along with the post, Micah shared a never-before-seen image of Philip as he called the late prince the devoted family man. Mike Tyndall, who is married to Princess Anne's daughter, Zara Tyndall, said it had been a sad week but that the family was reflecting on great memories ahead of the funeral on Saturday. He wrote, It's been a very sad week, but it has given us time to reflect on great memories and stories, both personal and shared, a devoted family man who I will forever miss, but always love. The sweet tribute photo taken by Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, shows Mike and Zara's eldest daughter, Mia Tyndall, eating and chatting to her great-grandfather on a bench outside a log cabin. Mike did not share when the picture was taken, but it could have been on the Sandringham estate as the Duke had retired to Wood Farm in 2017. Mia appears to be talking to her grandfather as he tucks into a plate of food. Three plates rest on the table, but the third diner is not seen, possibly Kate who took the picture. A glass of beer, the Duke's preferred lunchtime drink, is on a banister behind the two. Mike and Zara share three children and earlier this week their youngest daughter, Lena, was pictured in her first royal portrait. In the photo, baby Lena is being held by her cousin Isla, who is the youngest daughter of Zara's brother, Peter Phillips. The royal photograph also includes the Queen, Prince Philip, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis, Savannah Phillips and Mia. Mia is one of the ten great-grandchildren the Duke of Edinburgh had when he passed away. Just over a month before the passing of the Duke came the birth of his ninth and tenth great-grandchildren, who were both given names which honoured the Duke. Princess Eugenie, 31, and Zara Tyndall, 39, paid tribute to their grandfather by giving their babies his name. Eugenie and husband Jack Brooksbank named their first child August Philip Hawk Brooksbank when he was born on February the 9th, becoming the Queen and Duke's ninth great-grandchild. And just a month later, her cousin Zara decided, along with her husband Mike, to name their third child and first son Lucas Philip Tyndall. It is believed the safety restrictions that separate many families across the country during lockdown also prevented the late Duke from meeting the last additions to the royal family, meaning he reportedly never got to meet either great-grandsons. Zara gave birth to her third son on her bathroom floor after being unable to make it to the hospital on March the 21st. The baby was born healthy and weighing 8 pounds 4 ounces. The Queen and Prince Philip released a statement shortly after his dramatic birth saying they look forward to meeting their 10th great-grandchild when the circumstances allow and that they were delighted by his birth. At midday on last Friday, the Queen announced the passing of her husband as flags were lowered at half-mast at Buckingham Palace. The royal family said in a statement, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The Royal Family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. Prince Philip's funeral will take place on Saturday at St George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Duke of Edinburgh will be laid to rest surrounded by only 30 close family members and friends. Ironically, it is probably how he would have liked it. Former Palace spokeswoman Elisa Anderson told People magazine, No fuss, no bother. Right through his life, he never knew what all the fuss was about.